we are gonna go full ocean vibe on these countertops. I wanna show you a close up of the colors we're gonna be using. James, jump in here real quick. We got our sky blue metallics and our deep blue metallics. And wait to see how easy it is to create these natural waves with our white Ligari effects. What's up guys, Tyler with Ligari. It's time to show you how to create those waves using our white Ligari effects. Super simple process. I'm gonna simply pour effects into the container and then we're gonna get right on the countertop and dump it out. So you guys notice I'm just going to keep adding the white effects into the container as we're pouring the epoxy out and that's going to give us those white waves. When I get done I just let that drain out, grab a new bucket, thank you Kyle. Again adding it right to the top. All right, so now we got resin all over the counters now. Now I'm gonna start pouring in between these bigger opened up sections, starting to fill in these spots. And again, still adding white as I'm pouring. If you wanna add more white, if you like how much is out there, you can simply stop adding effects. So we're on the last bucket. I want to really be more precise of where I'm pouring out. Now keep in mind, a lot of these uh, spots we already poured out are really thick. They're leveling out. 
Um, so again, like this is probably gonna wind up filling in by itself. So again, I'm gonna work on the bigger spots that are more opened and I have a few all throughout the countertop. Trying to pour smaller amounts. I obviously don't need to pour as much in these spots now. Simple cleanup, denatured alcohol in a rag. Um, we'll get 90, 98% of that off. Hey, shout out to Trey, man. Look at Trey jumping in here, getting it clean. 98%, he's almost there. <laughs> oh, got it again. So guys, once you get all the containers poured out, now we're gonna go around and fill in all the spots that are opened up where you can see the primer. There's just surface tension there. We have enough resin on the top. Um, we just need to kind of get rid of that surface tension by simply just getting some epoxy in there and then that'll level out. Again, there's plenty of resin out here. We're just helping it level out. And you'll see in about five minutes, this will all fill in. So the next thing is I'm gonna add a little air to break up some of these larger white chunks and then we're gonna uh, disperse the surface with uh, isopropyl alcohol. So before I spray the denatured alcohol, let's talk about the sink for a minute. I think a white sink would look killer on this countertop. We don't have one, so that sucks, or I'd throw it in there. But we have a black one, a stainless steel. We'll probably throw the black in it, but comment below, let me know what color of sink you guys would want on these countertops. So it's dispersing time, guys. I know a lot of you are like a 50-50 on the dispersing effect, so what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna just randomly hit some of these spots where the Ligari effects are. That'll create those cells, kind of that foamy look that you see in the ocean. And so that's all I'm doing. Barely, barely pulling that trigger, getting those droplets just to hit that surface just right. So you can see what it's doing. It's just selling out some of those effects. Notice I'm not hitting all of them, right? Just kind of randomly hitting this one. Cool part about the dispersing is if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. What do you do if you already did it and you don't like it? Blend it in. It's a good question, Kyle. So if you did it and you don't like it, Get your blower out, blow it around, run your hands through it, take a squeegee to it so you can kind of dissipate those. But obviously if you spray the white to get rid of that, you're gonna get rid of some of that white. So just keep that in mind. Uh, good, good little tip is you can test like a back corner, maybe where your microwave is gonna go or something you know is gonna set on the countertop. You can hit that spot to see if you, if you really like how it looks. What does this remind you of? He has no clue what we're trying to do here. I have to say ocean, maybe some waves. Crushed it. Crushed it. Isn't that cool? It's like sea, sea foam, dude. Sea foam, dude, that's exactly it. There you have it. Justin approved countertops. So I'm getting ready to pull the weather strip so we can get our edges coated, but before I do that, I wanna talk about our countertop kits and why no other kits on the market are like them. One of the reasons is, when you guys order countertop kits from competitors, you're typically getting epoxy and metallics. You gotta go find a primer, you gotta go find a top coat, uh, whatever it may be. Our kits come with primer, epoxy, colors, top coats, and they all are pre-measured so you can do each step with ease, guys. Another thing they come with are lifetime warranties. Not any other company out there is offering lifetime warranties on their countertop kits. And the last thing that sets us apart is our tutorial videos. We do full tutorials on every kit that we offer. So when you guys order the kit, you can simply watch that exact kit get put down in a, in a full-size kitchen that's 50 square feet.
So the final touch, guys, is scraping your drips. That way we don't have to sand the next day. Putty knife just shaves them right off. We run that on the bottom edge. You might have to periodically do this over the next hour, but it sure saves a lot of time from having to sand all your drips on your counters.